Hello, says the Radio Geek. And today for you, I have another radio. This time it's the Dream Sky model DS-209. I, uh, I found this on Amazon and it looked interesting so I thought I'd get it. Um, it, it came in a really nice box. Um, it's kind of a, like, a, like a gift box really. It, it opens like so and um, it had the radio in it and it also included two AA batteries came with the radio which is which is kind of unusual this is uh, just an AM FM radio that has a clock on it and a, and a sleep timer um, it came in this little protective bag to slid out of there and then it had this card in there and it said um, uh, Dream Sky warranty card and it, it, I think it opens here it's stuck yeah here it goes and it's just got you know warranty information and uh, so forth um, and then on the front underneath where it says warranty card it says if there is one thing one can always yeem for and sometimes obtain it is human love so I think think they meant that to be dream but anyway so that, that's the warranty card but all in all it's a it's a nice nice gift box and uh, the manual is a thicker uh, material cardstock I guess and it's uh, it's really well laid out it's got uh, drawings and the print is um, is a good size print so it's not really a micro size print like in a lot of the uh, manuals that you get and it, it goes over um, the radio pretty much everything you need to know it's a pretty um, simple radio but they do include the manual anyway so this is the radio um, on the front here at the top you have your power on and off Got your clock and tuning indicator um, LCD in the middle here. Uh, tuning up, tuning down, AM FM band selection button. You can turn the alarm on and off. You can set the alarm. You can set the time. And you can uh, you have it, it has a sleep timer and you can hold it and it will lock the radio making all these buttons um, inactive. It's got the handy dandy wrist strap. On this side, you've got uh, volume control and the earphone jack. And the telescoping antenna on the top. And just the battery door here in the back. So I say it comes with these, um, uh, it says Lon Life, L O N L I F E, batteries. And a little flip here that'll allow you to stand the radio up so it's kind of good so far um, oh I did have one issue with it when I when I first got it I was trying to install the batteries and I couldn't get the battery to go all the way in I thought, what what's going on there so I got a flashlight and I looked in here and this part of the radio here's the speaker and just under the speaker where the battery is supposed to slide through there's no like plastic guard in the case between the speaker and the circuitry and the battery it's just all open and what had happened was a wire I think it was an orange wire had looped down like this and it wouldn't allow the battery to slide so it wouldn't you couldn't get the batteries in it so it wouldn't, it wouldn't work so I got a, a wooden skewer and I just pushed it in to the battery compartment and angled it down like this and looked in there with a flashlight and I was able to push on that wire that was hanging down here and I pushed it up underneath up in here by the speaker area away from the area where the battery was going to have to go and then I was able to install the batteries and you know then it worked but so you know uh, hmm, typical QC issues with something like this um, this radio is on Amazon and it was uh, $13.99 so $14 radio so you know you're gonna run across that stuff I guess 
So, I did I did play with it this weekend, um, and I started scanning the AM band at about seven o'clock, and I kind of played with it till about nine thirty, and I just just kind of casually listened to stations and caught an ID and wrote down you know what it was and where it was from that kind of thing. Um, so it, it does pretty good actually at night. Um, I'll, I'm just going to list off some of these stations. Um, I live here in uh, in Michigan, so these are all from the state of Michigan. And some of the stations I received were uh, 1540 AM KXEL. It's in Iowa. And at 7 o'clock, I think it was on Saturday, I was listening to an old time radio show. Um, they had gun smoke. I listened to that for a while. And um, uh, I, I tuned around and then I came across uh, 1630 AM KCJJ and that's it was in Iowa as well they were playing music if I remember right um, then I had 1100 AM WTAM in uh, Cleveland Ohio 1040 AM uh, WHO um, Iowa as well uh, 1030 uh, WBZ Boston uh, 1020 AM KDKA uh, Pittsburgh Pennsylvania 1010 AM um, that was a Canadian station um, Toronto uh, CBC radio um, 800 um, AM uh, CKLW Windsor um, 880 AM WCBS 840 AM WHAS in Kentucky uh, 740 AM uh, WBBM Illinois um, 760 WJR Detroit WSB uh, 750 uh, that was in Georgia um, 740 AM was uh, Zoomer Radio uh, CFZM uh, 720 WGN Illinois 700 AM WLW Ohio um, what else did I have here um, 690 AM um, CKGM in Montreal Canada and uh, let's see oh and uh, 620 WTMJ in Wisconsin and those are just the ones that you know that I wrote down and I wasn't um, you know going through the band uh, I was just going through the band a little bit just listening here and there and listen to this for a little bit and then move over here and listen to that so um, so you know it was like you know two and a half hour period of time there at night um, and early evening actually you know 7 to 9 30 so I imagine in the wee hours uh, of the morning it might even do better so anyway I just thought I'd mention that because a lot of times when I'm I'm making a video it might be in the afternoon or early evening or maybe these DX stations aren't um, aren't being heard and then I do have some um, interference sometimes with the the lighting and camera and whatnot so anyway I will uh, I'll just turn it on and we'll just do a little quick um, band scan and uh, we'll go from there I did notice that when you tune it, when you hit the up tune button or the down tune button and it goes to the next station, if you, if you, if you just give up on it and hit it again and it goes to the next station, you might miss something because it seems like once you increment you into the next station, if you just wait a couple of seconds, it, um, it, may, it may hear something. It's like it's not instantaneous when you, when you flip it to the next channel. Energy 
Energy Smart, a NICOR gas program. It's probably a little too early for Zuma Radio. I think that's WJR. Not sure what 770 is. I know it doesn't seem like it's uh, really picking up all that much, but uh, you know it's it's just before six o'clock here, and um, I, I think I'm really getting some interference from the camera and, and possibly these lights. But that's one of the reasons I kind of jotted down some of these frequencies that I found um, over the weekend. Uh, it it really does uh, come to life on the AM band, particularly at at night.
Might be that Iowa station, 1630. KCJJ, possibly. Okay, well that was the uh, the AM band. I probably have a little better luck on the FM band. Let's see what that's like. It doesn't sound too bad. You know, for a little radio. Oh, and if you uh, hold down the tuning buttons, it'll go to the next station that it finds. It doesn't have any presets or any memory. Uh, in the bottom half of the program, but let me ask you this though: Have we forgotten what volatility is all about? Because. pedestrians crossing the road at an intersection or at crosswalk, whether that crosswalk is marked or not. Kristen Bennett is transportation planning supervisor telling Wood Radio this new similar results. Then get Andro 400, the safe, natural, and inexpensive way to boost your testosterone. So anyway, um, that, that's it pretty much. Um, if you set the alarm and the alarm goes off, it will turn on the radio to whatever the last station that you were listening to. Um, so that is your alarm is the radio. Um, it doesn't beep or make any other noises. It just turns on the radio and plays it um, wherever you had it last. So, you know, all in all, I, I think it's a pretty nice little radio. It seems to be... Um, uh, built fairly well. Um, the buttons works good. The um, volume control is is smooth. Um, it, it's a nice looking little radio. It's very small. Um, and you know, for $13.99, um, it, it's not a bad deal. And I, I really like the uh, the packaging. It, it's really geared um, as like a gift type thing. So that's pretty neat. So anyway, um, if you're looking for an inexpensive AM FM radio um, that maybe you can even do a little bit of DXing with, um, or to introduce somebody to AM DXing perhaps, um, this might might be a good radio to uh, to give uh, somebody a relative or whatnot. So anyway, that's it for the uh, the Dream Sky DS 209. Until next time, this is the Radio Geek.